7.53, that brings us to News Extra Time, brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. And with us today, a couple of special guests. We have uh, Teresa Olson and Chuck Kelly with us today, and we're going to visit about a senior driving seminar, senior center, or not senior center, but a senior seminar coming up. Uh, good morning to welcome to both of you. Good morning, Thank you. Guys. Good morning to you. And uh, Teresa, we'll start with you. Tell us about this uh, seminar. What's it about? Great. I'd be happy to. April is Occupational Therapy Month, and this year at the Rehab Center, we're sponsoring a Senior Driving Information Seminar. It's going to be this week, Thursday, the 30th of April, and it'll be at 10 o'clock in the morning over at the Rehab Center in the King Rooms. Our guest speaker is going to be Chuck Ellie, and he's going to come and talk with us about ways that we can become an older and wiser driver. Um, we've got some very interesting statistics in terms of uh, driving. Um, in 1995, and these are statistics according to AAA, there were about 16.5 million licensed drivers over 70 years old. And at that point, that was a 47% increase from 1985. Uh, we now predict that by 2020, the U.S. is going to hold about 54 million Americans uh, older than 65 years old, and many of those will still be driving. Um, statistics also show us that older drivers become a little more crash prone, even though they drive less, and older drivers are more fragile physically, and their fatality rates are 17 times higher than 25 to 65 year olds. So come on over. We've got some good information to share for um, people in our region here in order ways for them to stay safe and stay driving. Yeah. Well, Chuck, uh, wet our appetite a little bit for what you'll be talking about. Well, I appreciate that. You know, um, pretty interesting presentation or program. And uh, I learned actually when I was researching this, I learned a lot. Um, and, and, but the, the, I guess the main thing I'll talk about is the three things that happen as all of us as we age and how it impacts our bodies and and uh, and, and how it relates to driving. And uh, the first one would be changing in our and changes in our vision. Now, I don't know if you realize this, but 90% of our driving ability, decision making comes through our eyes. So it's about what you can do to make sure your eyes are healthy and, and you know, going to the doctor frequently, at least once a year. Uh, that's one of the simple things. Reaction time slows down as we age. And um, what you can do in driving, you know, you, well, I'll just give you one of the examples, just increase that distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. And the third thing was, is flexibility. And uh, this is where uh, Regional West comes in and, and what they can do in, in, in exercises and things like that to, um, to help you to be able to stay physically fit so you're able to drive a motor vehicle in a safe manner, some simple exercises and things like that. So that's just a few of actually many things that we're going to be talking about. Okay, very good. Well, we'll find out more about this upcoming uh, event right after this. With our 21 years of meeting success, wireless internet access for 750 computers, the Polycom video system, no service fees, and the meat shop cooking incredible food for you, you need to call the Gearing Civic Center for your next meeting or convention. Call 436-6888, visit GearingCivicCenter.com, and like us on Facebook. Experts providing exceptional experiences and excellent food. You will look good. Our guests today, Teresa Olson and Chuck Ellie, as we visit about an upcoming uh, senior driving seminar Thursday. Now, Teresa, is uh, this free? Is there a, a, a registration fee? This is a free uh, okay. presentation that we will be hosting up at the Rehab Center. All right. So just come on up Thursday morning, 10 yes. o'clock, right? Yes. Um, we do request, if people are um, very sure that they're going to be com uh, coming, please give us a call. You could call me up at the Rehab Center, and our phone number there is 630-1355. Ask for Teresa. Okay. That way you can kind of plan ahead kind of for, plan ahead for room size. Room size exactly. So Ch Chuck, do you talk about the subject of when to pull the keys from dad or mom is that i mean that's one of the toughest it decisions is. that a family will make i personally i've had to deal with that in my own in my own family and i know uh with uh, with my career with the agency with the state patrol that i've i uh, ended up uh working with families on in helping them and uh, having a basically it's a driver's uh, driver's license recall done and um yes i do talk about that and i talk about when it is time 
to uh, take the keys and and the, and the the right way to do it, the best way to do it. It's very very hard. I know that, and because that's for most people, it's you know it's it's their independence, and I get it. I understand that. But but we talk about the proper way and maybe the best way to to handle that type of situation. And before we get there, are there ways? that senior driving impacts insurance rates and so on, uh, that we can in, improve that situation? Well, um, or do you know? No, I guess I really don't know. Yeah. Um, I really don't know about that. Okay. Yes. All right. We do offer up at the rehab center, and I'm part of this program, um, behind the wheel driving assessments. It's actually a two part um, assessment, and quite often uh, we will work with people through their physician. Um, basically coming from a uh, medical change in people's abilities. Think of people that have had a stroke. Mm -hmm. Maybe people have had um, some difficulty in losing sensation in their feet, possibly due to diabetes complications. And we definitely have the ability to assess people with those skills and also recommend any possible vehicle um, uh, adaptations, mm -hmm. things like that. So we're also available up at the rehab center for assessment in that area. And we'll be able to talk about that program as well. Okay. So uh, what are we looking at? An hour, two hour session on Thursday or what? Probably is it going to be kind of wide ranging? Or? Yeah, well, I'll try to, it'll be about an hour long. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, cause I'm sure people will be tired to get tired <laughs> of listening to me. <laughs> uh, I'm sure no, but we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it to an hour. All right. Good. All right, sounds interesting. Thursday morning, 10 o'clock, and again, uh, Theresa, if folks want to call ahead. Yes. Uh, get, what's your number again? Yes, you can call us up at the Rehab Center. The phone number there is 630-1355. Ask for Teresa. All right, very good. Thanks for coming by, spending some time with us this morning. We'll let you get on your way. You're welcome. Oh, Safely, you, of course. Appreciate it. All right, All take right. care.